when we start allocating the costs to the different departments, it doesn't matter if I start with IT or human resources. I'm going to start with IT. Remember that IT is now equal to this new number, which is 288,696. I'm going to allocate IT to the two operating departments, residential and commercial. Don't forget I need a total over here. But I'm also going to allocate it over to human resources. I need the IT driver, and that driver is 650, 980, 1,200, which totals 2,830. I'm going to calculate the allocated. That's 650 divided by 2,830 multiplied by the $288,698. That equals 66,308. 980 inquiries divided by 2,830 inquiries, again multiplied by the 288,696, is equal to 99,972. Doing the same for the 1,200 divided by 2,830 multiplied by the amount of IT is equal to 122,415. I add them up to determine if it's right. I actually get 288,695. So I'm $1 short, which means I've got to change one of these numbers. I'm going to change this number to 6. Now when I add it together, it's 288,696, which is exactly what I need up here. I got it. Now I'm going to do the same thing for human resources. Human resources, we've got the updated number of 406,308. I'm going to allocate those two, of course, to residential and commercial, but I'm also going to recognize IT. Right? I've got human resources up here, but I've got IT here. I don't write down residential or commercial because I've already got those names up there. I want the driver. That driver is 4 and 12 and 26, straight from the chart. That's 42 in total. I'm going to take the 4, I'm going to divide it by the 42, multiply it times the 406,308, and that's going to give me my allocated. In this case, 38,696. 12 divided by 42, multiplied by the amount of human resources, is equal to 116,088. 26 divided by 42, multiplied times the amount of human resources, that's 251,000. 524. Add them across as a check. 406, 308. It matches. We're in a good place. What do we have to do now? I have to add up the residential and the commercial. What do I have to do with human resources and information technology? Nothing. I have to ignore them totally. Instead, I'm going to add the residential, these two numbers, and that's going to get me my total allocated. Total allocated for residential is going to be 216,060. I'm then going to do the same thing for commercial. I'm going to add the 122,416 plus the 251,524. That's going to equal 373,940. If I add these two amounts together, they better equal 590,000. Why do I need 590,000? Well, we quickly jump back here, and 590,000 would be the 340,000 plus the 250,000. It would show that I have allocated 100% of my service department costs into the operating departments. And in this case, I have. Now, if I add in the direct costs, from the actual departments, residential and commercial, I'm going to add in the 670,000, and I'm going to add in the 980,000, and that will get me the total overhead costs that the operating departments now have to cover by generating revenue. 886,060, 1,353,940. Add those together, and it better equal 2 million. 240,000. And it does. So what are the pros and cons of the reciprocal method? The main pro is that it takes into account all the interconnections between service departments. This is an excellent positive. Unfortunately, the calculations are complex. 
particularly if you have more than two service departments. Keep in mind this is somewhat mitigated by the fact that computers have simplified the process. Another con is that it's difficult to explain to managers who are responsible, in the end, for covering these overhead costs. Now, I want to highlight something that's very important. Often students and textbooks say that this is the most accurate method to use. The word accurate means that this is an exact number. But we're using cost drivers to allocate service department costs. That is still just an allocation an estimate. If the drivers that we're using, in this case number of employees and number of inquiries, do not reflect the majority of the costs within the department, then no method, even if it does recognize the interaction between the service departments, will produce an accurate allocation. Allocations are, by their very nature, estimates, and the word accurate should not be used in conjunction with an estimate. What we can say is that this method provides a better estimate of the use of service departments by operating departments. More we actually can't say. Avoid the term accurate at all costs when discussing estimates. Is there a difference between the three methods and the amounts that were allocated to both of the operating departments? We'll check that out in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it was a positive learning experience.